Hi guys, it's Gustavs back here with the Let's Play Some World of Warcraft Extra video. In this video, I am going to be visiting the Dark Moon Isle for the first time on this character. Obviously, I've done it some, some time before on my other characters, but not much. I have never... Well, no, I, I haven't got any big rewards from here, actually. But yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit of a gold trick here. You see this Dark Moon box? Uh, you could buy it. You see, there's a 14 slot bag. Very good for newbies, if you're a new server, new to the game maybe. Sell it, 2.5 gold. It costs 1 Dark Moon ticket, which you get from playing the Dark Moon games. You get 5 tickets when you first visit this place. You see there? I have 4 tickets now, now 3. And uh, I'm just buying boxes and selling them until I reach uh, 1 ticket. Then I'm just going to keep the last box. And I just earned very easy gold. You could just end their daily quest here. You could get 4 tickets a day. Yeah, you see. Now I'm done there. And here comes the challenges. Activities. The first one I'm going to do is Tank Commander. Objective is to destroy this small uh, targeting uh, practice thingies. And uh, the thing is, it's not just running around shooting at them. You see, I'm getting targeted with a green pointer above my tonk. Uh, if I'm accidentally shooting at one of the other tonks f uh, going around, that zeppelin is gonna fire at me. Or one of the tonks. And then you have to just run out. You can't stand still then. If you want, you could activate super speed by pressing the number 2 button. See there? I'm just getting out of there before the missile hit. Missile, missile is a... Yeah, that's the effect of it. But you're going to hit 30 of them. I think it's a bit ridiculous sometimes. Because I, the time is running out. And if you're not doing it perfectly. It will cost you uh, more, tic more tickets. What does it cost? It costs Dark Moon coins to play this. You could buy coins for silver or gold. Whatever. You could buy, buy like 20 coins for. I don't know. 20 silver. Or 5 coins for 1 silver. But anyways it's worth it. Because for 1 if you win one of these games, like here, you get a ticket. And then if you just go minus on this, you could just buy a bag and sell it for 2.5 gold. And this one, he shoots, he scores. You are going to shoot at these uh, target things. You see there will be a little mark symbol, green mark symbol on them. You're going to face the way they are placed out. And you're going to press the shoot button. You, you could uh, about get two hits in. Uh, on every mark. And there you see I got the quick shot achievement. The quick shot achievement if it if you shoot it within one second of it popping up I believe. If you have lag lags, very much lags it this is impossible. Impossible. But yeah. The the goal with this is to get to twenty five. This I also had to pay another coin for because it's I was running out of time because I couldn't get the quick shots right. I had a little bit of lag so I I only got the one for the achievement. So, if you don't get any quick shots, or if you don't hit uh, two shots at one target, you basically have to buy another round. Yeah. I'm just going to finish this up. How many? There are quite many left. Yeah, right. But uh, the Dark Moon Fair was actually not always on this island. There was a traveling fair, traveling around Outlands, Mulgore, and Elwyn Forest, I believe. And you could uh, play the Tonks. I believe, in a different way, you played against others, though. But there was none of these games. You could just uh, buy stuff, like carnival stuff. And you could trade stuff in for uh, reputation. Why would you do that? I have no idea. Reputation on gold, I believe. But yeah, now I'm uh, heading for the second one. And here you see I could buy tickets. Five tickets, one uh, silver there. Uh, I don't think it depends. Uh, level... I don't think it's going to increase uh, what level you are. This is the card master. To that guy you can trade in Dark Moon cards to, to get epic trinkets. And right now we are heading for the cannon. I just can't find it. But yeah, it's right behind me. So I'm a little bit stupid here looking. How many quests do I have left? I have three left. Alright. I'm going for the cannon. But yeah, the Dark Moon Island was, yes, just as I said, a traveling fair. But yeah, the humanoid cannonball. This was also in the old Dark Moon Fair. You, you should shoot yourself out of a cannon, you see. And you are, are supposed to land in water within a circle. So you fly, fly, fly over the whole fair. 
and then you drop down, you try to hit it. If you get in the middle, you get the Blastenheimer achievement. The marksman, marksman or whatever. And then you get points. If you score in the middle, you get 5 points. And if you score anywhere else, you get two to 1 to 3 points. This time, it's whack and all. Uh, you should whack these nulls with a hammer. You get 1 point for each null. This is basically like these games where you have a hammer and uh, there's like uh, creatures coming up of a box. And if you hit the Hogger one, Hogger is a boss, a null boss, the leader of them in Nullwind Forest. But if you hit him, you get 3 points. This is basically like when there's jumping up stuff. Uh, I don't know what they're called. And you, then you just hit him with a hammer. This is just a bit bigger. I think you need to whack 30 nulls within 1. And uh, you should really aim for the hogger ones. If there's like the hogger one, you should always aim for them. It's like just leave everything and go for the hogger one because they give three, and that is crucial for you to win this. Because if you don't go for the hogger ones, you're probably not gon going to win this in this round. And you see the doll that popped up there? If you hit the doll, you're stunned. Then you're probably going to fail. And here, I'm one away. That's like, what the hell game? Why do I have to pay another ticket to just whack? One more null. That's just ridiculous. I hate it. And the last one, target turtle. The thing I with this is, you're supposed to spam, you spam the one key at this turtle, and you're probably going to get the quest score. I mean, pfft. it's not much to say, it's super easy. See, I did it in seconds. Thank you guys for watching this extra Let's Play World of Warcraft video. I hope you enjoyed. It's not much, it's not leveling, but it's a little bit extra for you guys. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Bye guys.